Bismillah ar uh, So today, inshallah, we're going to go through some uh, uh, similar activities to what we have done before and take some like advanced uh, uh, level subnetting. Um, so there's nothing actually to, to brief, brief or to talk about um, other than just going through the activities. So the first activity is just to warm up and, and uh, calculate the uh, subnet mask in binary and in and prefix notation. And then we'll talk about how we design uh, a subnet for uh, a set of networks that are subnetted into multiple networks. And we, we'll talk about the constraints and conditions that we need to have in order to design the subnet mask. Okay? So we'll start with this activity. So as we said before, this, uh, these, are, uh, these are the common numbers that we talked about. So this is the uh, five ones. I don't have to, this is five ones and then zeros. So five ones plus uh, 24, this is 29. This is the uh, three uh, ones and all zeros. But you have to, to be careful because these three ones are added after this, the second byte. So it's um, 3 plus 8, 16, which is slash 19. This is supposed to be a warm-up exercise. It's not... Uh... So one is a bit challenging, and I need you to... I will not give you any tips, and I will leave you to just, to just brainstorm and think about the best way to solve that exercise. Okay? And think in groups. <coughs> Read the question carefully and try to come up with, with a method to answer it. Okay. So the conditions are as follows uh, on the network prefix. One is that the network prefix uh, uh, is common within each subnet, right? The second condition, the network prefix is different from one subnet to the other. So, so the network prefix should be common within each subnet because we cannot have one subnet with more than one network address that cannot work, right? But we also need to make sure that whatever network address we select here is different from the one that we select on the other subnet. And if you have three, you need to make sure that each one is different from all the other ones. Okay? So we apply those two constraints uh, on all possible values for the, uh, uh, for the subnet mask. So slash 24 cannot work because slash 24 would mean that you have the network part 169.22.0 for all of them, for, for the two subnets. And that's not, that's not valid, right? So it's not, it's not 24. It's 27. Right. So I'm just trying to explain the method. Okay. So we need, we need to convert the last byte for all these host values to binary and apply these two constraints. So we convert... Uh, 94, 94, and I don't know, without, without calculator. 94 is actually, is not more than 128, is more than uh, 64. And if you subtract this from uh, 94, it's A, you, you have 30. And 30, again, is A, is, uh, uh, is 1 minus our, uh, 31 minus 1. And 31 is actually 5 ones. And minus 1 is A. This, this one will be zero. Okay? So I don't have to use calculator. Uh, 75. 75 is also not more than 128. It's more than 64. 
and the remaining is 11 and 11 is actually I know 11 is is a is uh, uh, 8 plus 3 and this will be two zeros and I put some boundary here because I, I, I need to make sure that this is one contiguous subnet the other one is, is easier 254 is all one except the last bit and 2 to 5 also is, 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 is a common number. 2 to 5 is actually 2 to 4 plus 1. So 2 to 4, I know 2 to 4 is 3 ones and 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. I don't have to use calculators anymore. Okay, so now the approach is, is that we have to go in this direction, okay, and apply those two constraints. So if, you, if we take the first bit, from the uh, uh, from the left hand side, this bit is common with, be, within this subnet, and this bit is common within this subnet, right? And this bit is different between the two subnets, which means that slash twenty five is a valid subnet, is a valid subnet mask. So if I use slash twenty five, it's a valid subnet mask. But in order to answer the, the, the part of the question longest, we have to make sure that 26 doesn't work. So we go to 26. So if we select this bit, okay? So this bit again is, is, is zero one is common between this subnet, and one one is common between this subnet, and zero one and one one, these are different between the two subnets. Okay, so slash 26 is also valid. Okay, if we select the third bit, again, it's common, and it's common, and it's the combination of three bits is different. Mm -hmm. So also slash 27 is a valid uh, subnet mask. When we try slash 28, it's different. The, within the same subnet, it's different. And within this, actually, it, it, one is also is, is enough. If it's different in one subnet, this means that slash 28 cannot work. Because slash 28 will give you a, 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 a different subnetwork address in one of the subnets. So it cannot work. Okay? So we'll stop at, at 27. So slash 27 is the longest subnet mask. Okay? The most important thing is to understand the method. Okay, any questions? Clear? Okay. So, so the next part is just to, uh, uh, to go through the same exercises that we have done before, but in, in advanced level. It's a little bit, slightly more difficult. Okay. Um, and we, we can work the same way that we have done uh, uh, on Sunday. So we need to calculate the network address. And then later on, we need to calculate the usable uh, host addresses. But this time, we need to be a little bit careful because the, 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 uh, the exercise is slightly more complicated. Not this one, the next one. So, uh, finished, huh? Yeah, finished. Finished. It's, it's, it's very easy. So, only we need to mask this bit, and this bit happen, happens to be uh, 1, so it's equivalent to a subtracting 1 from the 55, so it's a 54. And this will be 0, and this will be the same. Okay, next one. Okay. I keep finished, huh? I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. So, when we, mask, when, we, when we mask these three bits, and then these three bits are zero, so the, the remaining will be only one. Either you subtract five, or you observe that the remaining. Uh, uh, number will be 1 and all zeros, which is a 128. And this will be the same, this will be the same, and this will be the same. 
Remember that on the right hand side, if you have one byte on the right hand side, this will be zero. And the left hand side will be the same. Okay? So what is this? What is the number of number of valid? Two power fifteen minus one. Yes. <laughs> Sir. Two to the power fifteen. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two because I say valid host. If I tell you number of addresses. Thirty-eight. The number of addresses will be number of addresses will be to the power of fifteen. Now that that's it. Hmm? Okay. Right. Last one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the, main, the main issue here is that the, the byte that has the difference between the, the, the subnet mask between ones and zeros is the third one, not the fourth one like in the basic part. The main rule is that, again, it's, it's the same method. We take the host part, we set it all to zero except the uh, least significant bit, and this is the first usable host address. If we set it all one except the first, uh, the, 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 the least significant bit, we set it to zero, this is the last uh, usable host address. Okay? And then if you set it all to one, this is the broadcast address. If we add one to the broadcast address, this is the next network address. So, so it's easy to figure out that um, uh, uh, the mask will mask all these bits. Okay? So the, the, the network address of the current network will be here, 128, okay? Um, and of course, the trap that some, some of you have uh, uh, fallen into is to add one to this for the first host address. You, you actually add one in the host part, okay? So the first usable host address is 128, and here is the one. Okay, so 21, and this is 172. Hmm? No, this is the first host address on this network. Right. The last host uh, uh, address is when you put all this to one except this bit. You set it to zero. Which will uh, e will be easily one two fifty five dot two fifty four, and this will be the same. And of course, if we if we put this to two fifty five to two fifty five, this is the broadcast address. Mm. Okay. Regarding the, the the next network address, whatever is easier for you, either you you add one to the broadcast, which is what we have done before. But remember, add one here in binary. So when you add one to 255, the result will be zero. Add one to 55, the result will be zero. And then add one here, which will be 22. Okay. Or in case that you have calculated the broadcast address uh, uh, in a wrong way, okay, and you don't want to make your, uh, your answer dependent on the previous one, which is a good point. So in that case, what we need to do is we take the network part only. Take the network part only. Okay? And add one to it. Okay? Because this will give you the next network address. So when you add, so you have one here, and then here you have one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And then the rest we don't care. So when you add one to this, this will be zero, which means that this whole byte will be, will be zero. And this will be also zero and then one, which means that you add one to the 21, which is 22. So either this or this, uh, it's, up, it's up to you. 
Okay. Twenty one. Uh, the last bit of the eight bits is one, right? Okay. And the network address. Twenty one. Yeah, in binary, the last. Bit yes. Is one. Yes. The least significant bit is one. One. The one goes to the two bit. Yes. Yes. So it becomes twenty three, not twenty two. Yes. No, no, no. It becomes twenty two. Uh, if, if you add one to this, so this will be one plus one is a is zero, and you have a carry on of one. One plus one is a is zero. You have a carry on is, of one. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Hmm? Yes. Okay.